Hello world, I'm an Average Joe and I play games, and welcome to a new uh, little series that I'll be starting on my channel called Casual Conversations. So I'm going to uh, shoot for posting one of these about once a week, but uh, but we'll see how it goes. And so the goal of, uh, of the Casual Conversations is just to, I'm going to pick a topic and just kind of uh, chat about it with you guys and uh, put some gameplay in the background for you guys to, to take a look at just for you guys to, to get to know me a little bit better. And so I think I'm about a, a little over 50 videos in, um, about halfway through the RTC, have done a couple of other uh, series on my channel, um, but I feel like you guys don't know me very well, so this will be a way to uh, to get some uh, conversations going with you guys, the the three or four of you that, uh, that actually follow me on my channel. And... Uh, you know the casual conversations you know the goal of it is to have you know community involvement and uh, you know to really get some conversations going with you guys so the gameplay you see in the background is actually my first uh, two games ever of Black Ops 1 so I never uh, uh, bought Black Ops 1 when it was uh, first out and so I uh, went to GameStop the other night and uh, picked it up and figured I'd uh, pop it in and get, try to get a little bit of gameplay so you see me kind of a uh, uh, adjusting my my uh, sensitivity and my look inversion and all that good stuff and uh, running just the default classes. And uh, I already know some of the maps because, you know, I've watched uh, other YouTubers, RTCs and things like that. So uh, if it seems like I uh, know my way around the maps a little bit, that's just from, uh, from what I picked up from watching other people. And uh, unfortunately, uh, so this first game we... Uh, get dropped in towards the end uh, just to uh, pick up two quick kills and then uh, then the game's over. I fast forwarded through the lobby waiting and then we'll get jump dropped into another game. Unfortunately the uh, the second game we we go on a little tear but then the the we lose connection to host and the game ends prematurely which is a little unfortunate but um that's the way it goes sometimes. So what I was thinking about talking with you guys uh, for this uh, particular casual conversation is what is the first video game that you really remember getting into hardcore? Like, you know, what was that video game that, uh, you know, maybe not necessarily the first one that you played, but the first one that you really played it to the end and really try to you know uh, explore you know every bit there there uh, was in the game and you know maybe you're a completionist and you you know aim for that hundred percent so probably the first video game that I ever played was uh, either the original Super Mario or Galaga so my uh, my family got an the original Nintendo, uh, the the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, back when I was, it was before my brother was born, so I was probably four. And uh, the two games we got for it was the original Super Mario and Galaga. And of course, you know, a four-year-old, you know, is going to like those two games. But it wasn't until I was probably a little bit older, maybe six or seven, that I really got into my first game hardcore, and that was the original Legend of Zelda. I remember uh, just, you know, that that game, you know, clicked with me, uh, you know, even to this day, I love, you know, open world games like Skyrim um, or, you know, uh, Oblivion. I actually like Oblivion better than Skyrim. Um, I know that's probably blasphemy, but um, always have like the, the open world sandbox concept and Legend of Zelda was probably the first really big game that had that concept in it. And, uh, you know, what really drove it for me was uh, all the secrets that you could unlock in that game. Just, uh, I remember running around and, uh, you know, picking up those little blue, blue bombs and, you know, literally every single square of every single mountain dropping a bomb, hoping that, uh, that it would blow up and, you know, reveal some sort of, you know, secret cave or something like that. And uh, same thing, uh, I think there was a, a candle or something that you could get that you could, uh, you know, burn trees with and do the same thing. And I remember run, running around and trying to, you know, do a little candle on all the trees to see if, uh, you know, it would, would open up the, uh, a secret or a new passage or a new dungeon or something. I don't think I ever completed the game, to be honest with you. You know, being, you know, six or seven, I remember raging at that game. That was also the first game that I really got upset with and really raged against. Um, you know, to the point where my mom would make me, you know, turn it off because I would be in tears. I remember the thing that, uh, and I'm sure I raged at a lot of things in that game, but I think the the one that uh, that I raged, that I remember raging against is those, uh, 
you guys remember those hands that would grab you and take you back to the beginning of the dungeon? You know, it was always like the 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 room right before the final boss, and those hands would pop up and then grab uh, Link and then, you know, suck him through the floor, and then you'd end up back at the beginning of the dungeon. The I remember little, you know, uh, six or seven-year-old Joe just, uh, you know, raging against that, and whenever that would happen, I'd throw a controller, and, you know, tears would ensue, and... Uh, and then my mom would make me uh, make me get off. <laughs> so um, so I'm wondering, uh, you know, for you guys, what what's what was that game that that uh, that you first really connected with? That you uh, first had that connection that you you know felt so vested that you know when something didn't go your way, you raged against, or you know you felt that sense of pride or accomplishment. Because that was, that's what it was for me, you know, um, you know, being uh, in the early 90s you know the the internet hadn't literally had not been invented yet um and so i mean in today's world that seems seems crazy but uh it's true there was a day where you could not look up when you got stuck on a particular spot in a game you could not look it up on your smartphone um to try to you know uh get through it and so you know there, there wasn't a whole lot of uh of guidance on you know how to get through the game and you know a, a non-linear game like Legend of Zelda that's what you know really drove it you know you'd go to school every day and you know on the bus or you know at recess you know you talk to your buddies about it and, hey you know what I found you know and some of them of course you know little six year you know six or seven year olds you know they're they're gonna lie and so you know I can't tell you how many times I would just wander around trying to blow stuff up or you know, looking for, you know, some dungeon or something, you know, some rumor or innuendo that some six-year-old told me on the playground and, you know, spent hours and hours trying to trying to find it. So, uh, you know, that's what really kind of drove it for me. Um, and even to this day, um, you know, when, like, a new Elder Scrolls game comes out, I do not look at any of the guides. I will always play through every quest um, by myself, uh, you know, without looking at, you know, kind of the, the min-max way of... Uh, of uh, you know optimizing that quest just to get that sense of a uh, discovery and exploration and then what I'll actually do because I don't have time to uh, you know being uh, married with two kids for my job I don't have time to you know uh, have multiple characters to play through uh, the game multiple times so what I'll actually do before every quest is I'll save it play through it by myself and then look it up on you know unofficial Elder Scrolls pages or um, some of the other uh, wikis out there and see what's kind of the optimal way to play through that quest and then I'll if uh, if I did not play through it the optimal way to get you know the the best uh, gear or something like that I will actually uh, revert back to my save and then play through the quest again kind of a you know in more of a completionist uh, you know playthrough so you know that kind of works for me but um you know that's the way that I had it uh, or you know that's the way that I would play when I was a little kid too, you know, was just to, you know, always strive to, to max it out. I remember I used to hate um, spending my my uh, my money, my rupees, in The Legend of Zelda. You know, I always wanted to see, I can't remember if it was 99 or 999, but whatever the maximum was, I always remember I never wanted to spend, um, spend all of that. I, it's, it's silly because you know, you could just manufacture rubies in that game by killing enemies. But um, but I always wanted to have, you know, the maximum of everything, the, the best gear. So I've always had that kind of completionist, uh, you know, drive in me. And even in Call of Duty, I will, you know, I'll be the guy that will run around and try to do all the, the crazy, um, you know, challenges and things like that just to get, uh, you know, the, the different emblems or you know, the, the different things for your player card and, or the different challenges in uh, Ghosts, you know, all the, the various camos that you can get by, uh, you know, using weird attachments and all that. You know, and that's part of the reason why my KD suffers. You know, I've never been, uh, you know, really one driven by uh, kill-death ratio. And, uh, you know, so I'll do, you know, stupid things, you know, run around, try to do knife only, or, you know, try to use the shotgun on Stonehaven and just stupid stuff like that. So, um... But here the gameplay is uh, about to wind down. I keep on uh, trying to call in my chopper, I guess, in uh, Black Ops 1. You can't queue up choppers like you can in some of the later Call of Duties, so I was blocked for most of the game by my teammates. But uh, 
It is, I think, in a, about another 30 seconds or so, the the host will time out. So I'm going to probably l let you guys go here and uh, let you finish out the gameplay. And post down in the comments below uh, what, uh, what your... Uh, favorite game was, you know, kind of a growing up or that first game that you really got into. Was it an FPS like uh, like Call of Duty? Obviously, if you're watching my channel, which is primarily Call of Duty, you're obviously a fan of Call of Duty. Was that the first game that you really got into, or was it a was it a different genre, a different kind of game? And uh, and post down in the comments below, and I look forward to uh, seeing what you guys what you guys come up with. All right, we'll catch you later. I saw RCXD spotted.